And the Lord spake unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of the rest unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord, thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. That which groweth of its own accord of thy harvest thou shalt not reap, neither gather the grapes of thy vine undressed, for it is a year of rest unto the Lord. And the Sabbath of the land shall be meat for you, for thee, and for thy servant, and for thy maid, and for thy hired servant, and for thy stranger that sojourneth with thee, and for thy cattle, and for the beasts that are in the land, shall all the increase thereof be meat. And that shall number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, seven times seven years, and the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto thee forty and nine years. Thou sh then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month, in the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land, and shall hollow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land, and to all the inhabitants thereof it shall be a jubilee unto you and ye shall return every man into his possession and ye shall return every man into his family the jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you ye shall not sow neither reap that which groweth of itself in it nor gather the grapes in it of thy vine and dress for it is a jubilee it shall be holy unto you you shall eat the Increase thereof out of the field in the year of this jubilee. You shall return every man into his possession. And if thou sell aught unto thy neighbor, or buy us aught of thy neighbor's hand, you shall not oppress one another according to the number of the years after the jubilee. Thou shalt buy of thy neighbor, and according unto the number of years of the fruit, he shall sell unto thee. According to the multitude of years, thou shalt increase the price thereof. And according to the fewness of the years, thou shalt diminish the price thereof. For according to the number of the years of the fruit doth he sell unto thee. Ye shall not therefore oppress one another, but thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. Wherefore ye shall do my statue, keep to my judgments, and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land in safety, and the land shall yield her fruit. And ye shall eat your fill, and dwell therein in safety. And if ye shall say, what well, shall we eat of the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow, nor gather in our increase. Then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth fruit for thee for three years. And you shall sow the eighth year, and eat yet of the old fruit until the ninth year, until her fruits come, and you shall eat of the old store. The land shall not to be sold forever, and the land is mine, for ye are strangers and sojourners with me. And in all the land of your possession ye shall grant a redemption for the land. As thy brother be waxen poor, and hath sold away some of his possession, and if any of his kin come to redeem it, then shall he redeem that which his brother sold. And if the man have none to redeem it, and himself be able to redeem it, then let him count the years of the sale thereof, and restore the overplus unto the man to whom he sold it, that he may return it to his possession. But if he be not able to restore it to him, then that which is sold shall remain in the hand of him that hath bought it until the year of Jubilee. And in the Jubilee it shall go out, and he shall return it to his possession. And if a man saw a dwelling house in the walled city, then he may redeem it within a whole year after it is sold within a full year he may redeem it and if he not if he be not redeemed within the space of the full year then the house that is walled the city shall be established forever to him that bought it throughout his generations it shall not go out in the jubilee but the houses of the villages which have no wall round about them shall be counted as the fields of the country that they may be redeemed and that they shall go out in the jubilee, notwithstanding the cities of the Levites, and the houses of the cities of their possessions, may the Levites redeem at any time. And if a man purchase of the Levites in the house that was sold, then the city of his possession shall go out in the year of jubilee, for the houses of the cities of the Levites are their possessions among the children of Israel. But the field of the suburbs of their cities may not be sold, 
for it is their perpetual possession. And if thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him. Yea, though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee, take thou no usury of him or increase, but fear thy God, that thy brother may live with thee. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury, nor lend him thy victuals for increase. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. And if thy brother that dwellest by thee be waxen poor, and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve you as a bondservant, but as an hired servant, and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee, and shall serve thee unto the year of jubilee. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return into his own family, and into the possession of his father shall he return. For they are my servants, which I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as bondmen. Thou shalt not rule over him with rigor, but shalt fear thy God. Both the bondmen and the bondsmaids, which thou shalt have, that shalt be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall you buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall you buy, and of their families, which they are with you, which... They begat in your hand, and they shall be your possession. And you shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen and forever. But over your brethren of the children of Israel, you shall not roll one over another with rigor. And if a sojourner of a stranger wax rich by thee, and thy brother that dwelleth by him wax poor, and saw himself unto the stranger or a sojourner by thee, or to stock of the stranger's family. After that he is sold, he may be redeemed again. One of his brethren may redeem him. Either his uncle or his uncle's son may redeem him. Or any that is nigh of kin unto him of his family may redeem him. If he be able, he may redeem himself. And he shall reckon with him that bought him from the year that he was sold to him unto the year of the jubilee. And for the price of his sale shall be according unto the number of years, according to the time of an hired servant, shall be with him. If there be yet many years behind, according unto them, he shall give again the price of the redemption out of the money that he was bought for. And if there remain but a few years unto the year of Jubilee, then he shall count with him, and according unto the years, his years, shall he give him again the price of his redemption. And as a yearly hired servant shall he be with him, and the other shall rule shall not rule with rigor over him in thy sight. And if he be not redeemed in these years, then shall he go out in the year of Jubilee, both he and his children with him. For unto me the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God.